EINC or Essential Intrapartum Newborn Care Protocol is a package of evidence-based practices recommended by the Department of Health as the standard of care in all births for health workers and medical practitioners under AO 2009-0025 dated by December 1, 2009. It aims to ensure that health workers have the skills and knowledge to provide appropriate care at the most vulnerable period in a baby's life. Through the EINC protocol, there is a potential to decrease newborn death by at least half. Good morning, ma'am. I am Angelica, your student nurse for today. I am here to help and guide you before the delivery of your baby. So, how are you feeling right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mom, so your cervix is not yet fully dilated. It is only 8 centimeters. So, when waiting, just relax and calm down. And please, do not drink or eat any kind of food before your delivery. Thank you. Take note that it is not advisable for the pregnant mother to eat or drink any kind of food because she will just excrete it during her delivery. In preparation for the delivery, first is to check for room temperature. It should be 25 to 28 degrees Celsius and free of air drops. So I'm going to use a piece of paper. If this paper directly fell into the ground, it means that the room is free of air drops. But if it fell in the other way, it means that we need to check and close all the windows and door. So let's see and check. So the paper fell directly into the ground. So we achieved the desired room temperature and is free of air drops. Next is we are going to check if the mother is comfortable with her semi-upright position. Ma'am, are you comfortable with your position right now? Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. So semi-upright and dichotomy position are the default positions for the delivery. We are going to remove all the jewelries. Then next is to check all the needed equipment. So we have vitamin K, hepatitis B, and BCG vaccinations, eye ointment, and then oxytocin injection, kidney basin, two sterile gloves, cord clumps and scissor, bonnet, and dry clean linen. Then perform sterile technique in hand washing. At the time of delivery, encourage the mother to push. Mom, relax. Inhale, exhale, then push. Inhale, exhale, then push. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. Grab a dry clean linen across the mother's abdomen and arm in preparation for the drying of the baby. Then apply perineal support and control in delivering of the baby's head. Mom, one, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. Then call out the time of birth. Baby going up, 12.30 p.m. For 30 seconds, 
thoroughly dry the baby. Wipe the eyes, face, head, jaw, arms and legs. Remove the wet cloth and place the baby in skin to skin contact on the mother's chest and abdomen. Then cover the baby with the dry clean linen and bonnet. The purpose of skin-to-skin -skin contact are to promote mother and child bond, breastfeeding success, lymphoid tissue system stimulation, exposure to maternal flora, protection from hypoglycemia, and thermoregulation. Exclude the second baby by palpating the mother's abdomen in preparation for giving a oxytocin injection IM within one minute after the baby's birth. The purpose of giving oxytocin injection to the mother is to prevent hemorrhage or excessive bleeding after the vaginal birth. For the cord care, remove the first set of gloves. Then palpate the umbilical cord. After the pulsation of stop, clamp the cord using plastic cord clamp at 2 cm from the umbilical base. Then melt the cord gently and slightly away from the baby. Squeezing the blood along the umbilical cord can boost the baby's blood volume and this may improve the baby's health. Then clamp again at 5 cm from the base. Then cut the umbilical cord just near the first clamp. Then wrap the umbilical cord at the scissor. Perform the remaining steps of the active management for the next stage of labor. Wait for strong uterine contraction, then apply controlled core traction in the uterus continuing until the delivery of the placenta. Massage the uterus until it is firm, then inspect the lower vagina and perineum for any lacerations. After the placenta has been delivered, examine and check if it is complete or if it has any abnormalities. The placenta is complete and has no abnormalities. The placenta is shocked. Clean the mother by flushing the perineum, then apply perineal pad, napkin, or cloth. Check also the baby's color and breathing. The baby's color and breathing are normal. Check also if the mother is comfortable and if the uterus is constructed. Mom, are you comfortable right now? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. Then, um, dispose the placenta in a leak-proof container or plastic bag. Then, decontaminate the instruments, soak in 0.5% urine solution before cleaning and decontaminate the second pair of gloves before disposal. The decontamination should last at least 10 minutes. 
advised the mother to maintain skin-to-skin -skin contact with her baby. The baby should be prone on the mother's chest in between the breast with head turned into one side. Also, advise the mother to observe for breastfeeding cues. Mom, so please maintain skin-to-skin -skin contact with your baby, okay? Then, please be aware of the breastfeeding cues such as mouth opening, hip licking and sucking, breathing hands to mouth, uh, moving head as if he is looking for your nipple, clenching of face and fingers over his tummy, bending of arms and legs, and fussiness. Support the mother and instruct her on positioning and attachment. Then wait for the full breastfeed to be completed. After a complete breastfeed, administer eye ointment first to protect the baby from an unknown gonorrhea infection in the mother's body. The next is thorough physical examination. Then we are going to administer vitamin K. This is to prevent low levels of vitamin K and vitamin K deficiency bleeding. Vitamin K 0.5 ml IM pastus lateralis or in the right leg of the baby. The next is hepatitis B vaccination. This is to protect the baby as early as possible from any exposure to the hepatitis B virus. Hepatitis B vaccination are 0.5 ml IM vastus lateralis but in the left leg. Then lastly is the BCG vaccination. This is to protect the baby from any serious forms of tuberculosis such as TB meningitis, uh, infection of the brain, and meriari TB, a widespread of infection. This is administered intradermally in the arm of the baby. to bath your baby after six hours because delayed bathing uh, provides more initial skin-to-skin -skin contact between you and your baby and early washing hinders crawling reflex it can also lead to hypothermia which means that the body temperature of your baby drops below normal it can also lead to infection defect acidosis or brain hemorrhage and whenever your baby wants to breastfeed just breastfeed him Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. In the first hour, check the baby's breathing and color, check the mother's vital signs, and massage uterus every 15 minutes. And in the second hour, check mother baby diet every 30 minutes to 1 hour. And lastly, complete all the records. <laughs>
ako nahuhulog. So, we are going to remove all the chip. But ang haggard ko na? Hepatitis B and BCG vaccinations, eye ointment, and then oxytocin. Oxytocin? Oxytocin?